What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shaka and Juan. And today, I am finally getting back to my off-season project number one, Canal Fiction. That's right, so that means this part two. Right now, if you haven't had the opportunity to watch part one, I suggest that you do that before watching this video. This way, you will have all the background necessary uh, to know how we arrive at this point. All right, now uh, you guys have voted. You've all voted for option number three um, between Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. Option number three got the most votes. So therefore, uh, that means that I will be completing that task. Uh, basically, in what it involves is filling the stick shag with foam, keeping the internal weights, sealing it, and adding epoxy. Right now, the products uh, that I am going to be using to complete this project are uh, Toughened Foam Max Fill. And the next is some good old-fashioned nail hardener. And that's right. And this lovely product here, it's made by a company called Illumilite. And it is their Illumi UV resin-based epoxy. All right now, this epoxy here, it uh, will only cure when you hit it with UV light. All right, now I'm going to uh, get into or at least tell you why I decided to use these products. Um, but I'm going to do that in the conclusion where I will also uh, give you my impression of this whole entire process of repairing stick shads. All right, so make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end. This way you'll be able to get that information. Right now we have a lot to go over. I have a lot to show you. All right, so without further ado, um, why don't we get right to that? But first, you might want to adjust your volumes. Okay, so let's get right to it.
All right, so I let the foam cure overnight for 24 hours. And when I was ready to start sanding, I noticed that not all of the foam completely filled the plug. And I also noticed that the internal weights came unseated. And they were now sitting on the side of the plug. So now I have a less than half full plug and it's heavily off balance. So now I guess the only thing that I came up, up with to do is to refill the plug with foam. So it's almost like starting over. I mean, look at this right here. Even the hole wasn't completely covered. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but this definitely needed to be redone. I can see right through that hole. Oh well, just drill out the hole again, make it clean and add some more foam to it. No biggie. had some rather interesting developments. I uh, decided to hit the stick shad with some more foam because I could see that not all of the foam had filled the inside cavity of the stick shad. So I uh, just proceeded to add some more and heard a loud pop like a gunshot, felt a slight percussion in the plug, and it was like the rest of the plug just refilled up again, perhaps extending that crack, but as you can see, what was inside has sealed up the existing holes once again. Yeah, wasn't planning on that, so I'm gonna let this thing cure again overnight and proceed to sand it down, seal it up, see where it goes. or anything else that wasn't there before so hopefully project number one is still a go as long as it seals and I can add the epoxy I'll still fish it see how it goes
Oh no, oh no! Ah! What is it? The rapture? Nah, I just turned off the lights.
Uh, I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. All right, now let's get into the whys. All right, now I decided to use uh, the phone because uh, this plug had a pretty large crack in it and unfortunately I made it worse. Uh, so therefore I needed all of the holes to be completely sealed in order to move forward uh, with this project and I feel like that the foam uh, has done an excellent job at that. All right, now why did I decide to use the Lumi UV? Well, I basically wanted to prevent this from happening again and I also needed to protect the plug. Um, um, to me, Lumi UV is synonymous with like a, a spray in bed liner for your pickup. So I view it as uh, uh, an epoxy that uh, basically protects your plug from damage and cracks. All right, so that's why I decided to, um, to use that. Plus, you know, it, it's pretty uh, effective and efficient uh, because it only cures with a uh, UV light. You know, I don't have any a spray booth or any sort of uh, ventilation to let it sit and dry. Uh, so the, the fact that I can hit it with the UV light and it dries rather relatively fast was a major plus for me. All right. Um, now, to me, uh, this whole process uh, of repairing stick shads uh, in this manner, filling it with foam, sealing it epoxy, uh, to me, I view it as a reactive approach uh, to the problem. You know, I try to be a little proactive uh, when, it, when faced with situations like this. And uh, for me, uh, what I will be doing with any stick shots that I will be purchasing in the future, uh, from here on out basically, is I will be first, right out of the package, coated, coating it with Lumi UV. All right, that's that for me will eliminate it from ever cracking again. This stuff is practically bulletproof. Uh, it's not so great for builders, uh, but for a guy like me that wants to uh, prolong the use of the plug and they want them to last longer than they normally would, you know, it'd be best to coat it with something that would protect it uh, instead of having to have it go be cracked and then repair it. You understand? That's that's reactive. So for me, I will be coating. Uh, my stick shots from here on out with Lumi UV. All right, now just I want you to remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, now if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Let me hear from you guys. Uh, if you would like me to make any other type of videos, I would love to hear that from you as well. All right. God bless.